Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth episode of PeopleSoft interview series by PeopleSoft channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss one of the most commonly used question in PeopleSoft technical interviews, which is how to create a dynamic prompt table. So, dynamic prompt table is often required while creating custom pages in PeopleSoft system. So, there are two approaches using which we can create a dynamic prompt table. One is using a dynamic view as a prompt table and the second approach is using multiple SQL views with person editable property. So, in today's episode, we are going to discuss a use case which requires a dynamic prompt and we will create a dynamic prompt for the particular requirement using both of these approaches. So without further delay, let's start the discussion. Now let's start with understanding the requirement for our, for our use case. This is the employee page which stores the employee information. Now on this page, we have this field called supervisor using which we can select a supervisor for the given employee and this supervisor field has a prompt table. So currently we have configured a SQL view as a prompt table which displays all the employees which are available in the system. As of now there are 14 employees which are available in the record and we can select one of the employee as a supervisor to our current employee. Now the problem here is that this prompt table is simply displaying all the employees which are available irrespective of their designation and it is not following a particular hierarchy of designation when it comes to selecting a supervisor for our given employee. For example, this is the designation hierarchy that we are maintaining. When an employee join at an entry level position, he will receive a designation of analyst. The next senior designation will be a developer followed by senior developer followed by technical lead and manager. So the requirement here is that when we select a supervisor for a given employee, then only those employees should appear in the prompt table which has a higher designation than the current employee. For example, when it comes to selecting a supervisor for developer employee, then in the prompt table, you should only able to see senior developer, technical lead or manager as a supervisor and he should not be able to see someone with developer or analyst designation for selecting a supervisor. Similarly, when someone with technical lead will select a supervisor, then only employees with manager designation should appear in the prompt table. So this use case requires that our prompt table for supervisor should be dynamic based upon the current designation of the employee. All right, so now let's see how we can create a dynamic prompt table with the help of dynamic view. So let's create a new dynamic view for our requirement. So file new definition as record. Let's select the required fields to be used in the prompt table. These will be employee ID, employee name and employee designation. Let's select the record type as dynamic view. For now, we won't be providing any SQL to populate the dynamic view because we are going to generate the required SQL using people code. Let's save this dynamic view. Now let's set up the key structure for our dynamic view along with the search key and alternate search key. So let's call employee ID as a key and a search key. And let's make employee name as a alternate search key. Similarly, employee designation as an alternate search key. Let's save the changes. Now, we need to link this dynamic view 
as a from table to our supervisor field. So let's go to employee table supervisor field. In the edit section, as of now, we have a SQL view as a prompt table. Let's replace the SQL view with our dynamic view. All right. So we are done with the linking part. Now, for each employee designation, we are maintaining a corresponding designation grade value, which is an integer value. As we can see, for someone who is an analyst has a designation grade of 1, who is a developer has a grade of 2, who is a manager has a designation grade of 4, etc. So, we can use this logic in order to write our SQL for the dynamic view. Now, let's write people code to dynamically generate the SQL statement for our dynamic view. We will write the people code at page level. So this is the employee page for our requirement. Let's go to view page people code. Let's declare the required variables. Now let's capture the designation grade of the employee from the employee table. We have the employee designation grade. Now let's create a SQL with the help of this employee designation grade. So this is the required SQL and this will be the dynamic part where we will be passing the employee designation grade to the SQL at runtime and based upon this value the SQL will be dynamic and change depending upon the employee designation of the current employee. So our SQL is ready. Now we need to tag the SQL to the supervisor field. So let's grab the supervisor field from the employee table. So when it comes to working with dynamic view, we have a property called SQL text using which we can set the SQL for the prompt table at runtime when using dynamic view. So this is the supervisor field for which prompt will be used. So let's set the SQL text for this supervisor field which will be equal to the SQL that we generated with the help of people code. All right, now let's save the changes and let us test the effect of this people code on the employee page. So let's open the employee with employee ID 1. This employee is an analyst. So now if we check the prompt table, earlier we were able to see 14 employee but now we can see only 11 employees because as the employee is analyst, we can no longer see the analyst employees in this prompt table and as per the requirement, we are able to see only those employees having higher designation to select as a supervisor. Similarly, if we consider another employee who is a senior developer, then for this employee in the prompt table, we can see only higher designation employees such as manager or technical lead. So this is how we can use dynamic view to create dynamic prompt table in PeopleSoft. Now, let's see how to create dynamic prompt table using multiple SQL views with the help of derived record field called percent editable. So, we will create multiple SQL views for each of the designation of an employee. For example, if an employee is an analyst for which we will create a SQL view called analyst underscore prompt. Now for this SQL view, we will provide the SQL as select employees from the employee table where the employee designation grade is greater than one. This will give us the all the employees which are eligible to become supervisor for an analyst. Similarly, for other designations, we will create their respective prompt table and we will modify the designation grade in the select SQL as per the requirement.
So now we have multiple SQL views created which can be used as a prompt table depending upon the designation of an employee. So the question is at runtime how to select the correct prompt table depending upon the employee designation. So we will do that by writing people code with the help of a derived record field called as percent editable. So now let's create the required SQL views for our use case which can be used as a prompt table. So let's click on file new record. Let's add the required fields. So we will be using employee ID, employee name and designation. Let's set up the key structure. Let's provide the alternate search key for our SQL view. Let's change the record type to SQL view. Let's save this SQL view as analyst underscore prompt. Let's write the SQL statement. So this is the required select statement where we are taking the employees having designation grade greater than one for the analyst employees. So let's build the record. Similarly, we will create. Similarly, let's create the other three prompts for developer, senior developer and technical lead designations. For developer designations, we will run the select SQL by taking designation grade greater than 2. For senior developer, we will take the employee designation grade greater than 3. For technical lead, we will take the employee designation grade greater than 4. Alright, so our required 4 prompt table are now built and available in the project. Now, Next question is how to set up the required prompt table at runtime. So for that we will make use of the derived work record field called as percent editable. So derive is a record which is a delivered derived work record by PeopleSwap system which is used to store the temporary work fields for page processing. So if we check this record it has a multiple fields and these fields are often used at runtime to change the value dynamically while doing the page processing. So this record has a field called as editable. So we will use this editable field to set the value of the prompt table at runtime. So let's add this record into our current project. Now. Let's set up the prompt table value for the supervisor field in the employee table. So this is the supervisor field. Let's go to edit and now in the prompt table instead of providing a record name let's provide a variable name called person editable. As this is a variable the value for this variable will be decided at runtime based upon the people code which we will write in a moment and once the value is set the required prompt table will be triggered. Now as we are using the editable field from the derived work record then this field must be present on the PeopleSoft page otherwise we will receive an error saying that this field does not exist in the mention scroll area. So what we will do is we will place this field onto the PeopleSoft page and as we do not require to interact with this field from the online page we will make this field invisible. So let's open the field properties. Let's go to use tab and make this field as invisible so that this field won't be displayed to the user 
when he opens the PeopleSort page. Let's save the changes. And now the final step is writing people code in order to dynamically set the value of percent at a table for the required prompt table. So let's go to view page people code. Now we will reuse some of the people code where we are declaring the variables and we are grabbing the employee designation grade. So let's remove the code which is no longer required. So this is the required people code in which based upon the employee designation grade, we are setting the respective prompt table which will be assigned to edit table and ultimately used in the supervisor field. So we are done with all the changes. Now let's test the effect of this people code and configuration onto the online page. So let's open the employee. Let's say employee ID 3. Now Sachin is a employee having designation as a developer. So if we check the supervisor prompt for Sachin, as expected, we are only able to see senior developer, technical lead and manager as a employees to select for supervisor. Similarly, if we check for this employee called Rita, she is a senior developer and for this employee in the supervisor, we are able to see only technical lead or manager as a supervisor. So we have successfully configured a dynamic prompt table with the help of multiple SQL views using percent editable field. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. If you found this content helpful, then please like this video. And if you are interested in to search people's content, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.